Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you a quick CSS tip that allows you to make changes to a specific page in Divi. So in this example, I've actually changed this background uh, color here on my website to make it different to other pages. So this is how the color looks on uh, the site and then where I've changed it is on this contact page. So this is a quick tip and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So you may be wondering what cases would you want to do these changes on a specific page. So let's say you have a page for members and you want to distinguish that uh, look of that page or the colors, you can actually do that on that specific page and that's what I'll be showing you today. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicate.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. Link is in the description below. All right, so why don't we start by creating a brand new page? So I'm gonna come over here to dashboard and then I'm going to come to Pages and then click on Add New. Uh, I'm going to call this page Members. But of course, you can call this page whatever you want. Use the Divi Builder. And then I'm just going to load a quick layout. And the layout I'm going to load is from, in fact, I'll just go to this Pottery Studio and just use this one here. But it doesn't matter which layout you use. Okay, so this will take a while to load. And in a moment, this is going to be up. Okay, great. So I'm going to publish the page and then for our page to be added to our navigation, I'm going to come over here to appearance, menus, and then I'm going to click on members and then add it to our menu. Okay, so I'm just going to add it just after the shop. Click save menu. So now I'm going to go to our main website and click that link and then make our changes to it. Okay, right. So you can see here members has been added. So I'm going to click on it, click on Use Divi Builder. So what I'm going to do here is you can see on the top here, we have a section which doesn't have anything. Normally, this comes in by default when you load the layout. So we're going to go ahead and delete this. Right, so now we have our page. So this is the page which we need to have uh, the background heading different. So to get the CSS code or the, uh, the class or the IDs, what you need to do is to right click and inspect it. So right now I'm using Chrome. So this is how you get to do it. So you right click and then click on inspect. And then, so now you can see here that our header ID is uh, main header. And if you want to make any changes, this is where you'd come and add your CSS code, right? So that's how you find your CSS ID. So the question now is how do we add the CSS code so that it affects this page only. So here's the thing. If you come on the bottom here, you click on expand settings. Now you see this gear icon. If you click on it and then click on advanced custom CSS, this is where now you can paste your CSS like that. Okay. And of course, you know, you can change your color to whatever it is, the color that matches your brand just by uh, using this color palette. So right now I'll just leave this color as it is. And if I go ahead and save now and click on uh, save and then publish the page right so we can see if we come over here to home this will have this color so all these other pages throughout the whole website will have the same color but as soon as you come over here to members this now changes and this is only applied to this particular page so this is how you you create or add css to a specific page and um, achieve this design. Okay, and also there's uh, other things that you can do on that settings. So let me just go back into my uh, visual builder, click on expand settings. So if I click back here on this uh, page settings, anything that's done here only affects this particular page. So if you come here to background, you can actually add your uh, content area background color. If you wanted to, you can also add your section background color as well. And there's also split testing. If you need to uh, split test anything on this particular page, you can go ahead and do that. And then we also have this design page. You can um, work with your color palette. We also have text and uh, spacing. And then as we did before here, we have your custom CSS. So whatever CSS you add here is only going to affect this page. Okay, so um, that's how you make those changes. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. And by the way, 
If you're brand new to web design or you want to polish your skills when it comes to WordPress, I have a free course, which is I'm giving away for free. So you can head over to WPUserTV.com and access that training. In fact, the links are all in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.